Who are the monsters in the Garden of Bon Bon and how did they become so evil? Today we find out. Very few remember Ban Ban's kindergarten, an educational facility designed to care for only the best and brightest children around. What? To many, it never existed, except in the very depths of their subconscious. A passing experience they might have seen in an advertisement on TV. Perhaps an urban legend heard on the playground. What is going on, TFG Squad? My name is Brandon, and welcome back to a brand new Game Tunes animation. Today, we're learning all about the Garden of Bon Bon, which you guys told me is actually called the Garden of Ban Ban. Maybe I've been saying it wrong the entire time. But let's jump back in and find out what is going on in this kindergarten. They may have thought it was some kind of strange dream, but to others, it was a nightmare. Oh, where am I? Oh, hello? Is this Josh? Is there? Whoa, okay, wait a second. I think the guy being held down is going to be Jumbo Josh, which is the green monster. This is Ban Ban. So apparently at this point, Ban Ban has already been created, which makes me wonder how was Ban Ban created, but maybe that's an animation for another day. Who, who are you? What are you? Let me out of here. I didn't do anything, I swear. Shh. You've seen too much, my boy. You have no choice but to become one of us. Okay, am I the only one that thinks he sounds a lot like Darth Vader? That's that's the thing that I heard that let's keep going. Okay. Yes, something far more sinister lurked inside the colorful walls. Secrets began to leak out, you see. Secrets about things people had seen behind the facade of childlike wonder. Something was hiding. Something no one ever managed to find, or so he thought. <laughs> okay, yep, that's how Jumbo Josh was made. You answered the ad I put out. Yes, reluctantly. Once I weeded through the fakers and conspiracy theorists, you were all that was left. So quickly, I need you to tell me exactly what you remember about Bam Bam's kindergarten. Why on earth would you want to hear about that terrible place? So, okay, so Ban Ban's kindergarten existed as an actual kindergarten years ago. Then, I assume somehow it became evil, they shut the kindergarten down, and now for some reason they're investigating it. Because... I attended, or so I believe, Ban Ban's kindergarten myself. Oh. Along with my twin brother. I remember it fondly. All my friends were there and I'd play with toys until their batteries died out. Okay, this is my prediction for the video. You guys know 99 times out of 100, I'm wrong. This guy had a twin brother, and it sounds like the twin brother was lost to the kindergarten. Here's my prediction. I think his twin brother turned into one of the monsters in the garden of Ban Ban. That's my guess. But my brother, on the other hand, was always scared there. He said there were terrifying monsters behind every corner that he'd have to fight. Oh. Eventually, our parents pulled us out without any explanation. Later, they lied to us, in fact, saying we always went to a normal kindergarten, that the garden of Ban Ban never existed. Over time, I forgot about the whole thing, but Josh never did. He saw something there, and it haunted him. Oh. Then why aren't you asking Josh? Because he went missing a few weeks ago and I know where he went. Oh, okay, so uh, I was wrong, as I always am. By the way, if you guys want to see more Game Tunes animation reactions, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel right now. So I was wrong about his twin brother. He didn't go missing back when they were a kid. They, he went missing now. I'm going back to that place to find him, but in order to do so, I need information. So tell me, what do you remember? I remember plenty only in bits and pieces, but plenty. And there were times I could have sworn it was just a nightmare. Okay, the electricity still works. But it felt so real. I just remember that place was strange, down to its appearance. I can still see those strange murals of those creepy characters. One always freaked me out. That one-eyed jellyfish, Stinger Flynn, I think. Total nightmare fuel. What? Oh. It was hard to make friends at Ban Ban's kindergarten. It was a pretty exclusive place, only for the brightest kids in the area. You were pretty lucky if you got to go to Ban Ban's. Okay, did you just say it's for the brightest? These kids are literally hitting a ball back and forth with their heads. How bright could they be? Everyone thought, but something about it was so strange. 
the characters, that bird thing, the Apala bird it was Op so weird. But we were just little kids. What did we know? We were just having fun. Then slowly, one by one, all the kids started dropping out. Oh, Their parents pulled them and refused to say why. I was too little to understand. Maybe they all moved. Maybe it just got too expensive. Okay, something clearly happened at the kindergarten that the parents knew about, but somehow the kids didn't know about. Maybe it was the teachers, maybe it was the monsters, I'm not sure. I didn't think too much of it, but something felt off. What does that mean? Well, I sure never found out. I was a pretty rowdy kid. I honestly don't know how we even got into Ban Ban's kindergarten in the first place, when it's supposed to be really exclusive. What? I spent a lot of time in that naughty corner, and I might have deserved it, looking back. I was lucky I didn't get kicked out altogether. Why are there no teachers? Are we ever gonna find out where the teachers are and who they are? But one day, that jerk in charge. Oh. Hey, that's mine! Give it back! You'll get it back when you start behaving yourself, young man. But- No buts. He took my favorite toy. At that point, I'd had it with that stupid kindergarten. I knew I had to do something about it. So I broke in later that night to get it back. I couldn't get into the principal's office where I knew he was keeping it, but there had to be a way to get in somehow, right? Yeah. For some reason, I had a feeling that Opala bird would help me find something. Okay, has it been Opala the whole time or is it Opila? Because I've been calling him Opila, poop, Opile. Yeah, I've never said Opala. Maybe that's what it is. Hello, Opala. And it did. The wall opened up right in front of me. I found my way into this creepy back room. God, that thing lived in my nightmares forever. I can still see it. I had that dream for years. I'm a little confused here. In What's going dream, on? I would walk down this long, dark back hallway, but it seemed to go on forever. And the farther down I walked, the murals became twisted and evil looking. Whoa. I'll never forget those awful faces. So every time I'd take off running and running down the seemingly endless hallway until suddenly I'd reach this huge metal door and I'd peek inside. I'd see a man transforming into this big green monster. It almost looked like Jumbo Josh, but that's how I knew it was a nightmare, right? No. There's no way that could actually happen. Nope. It's real, but buddy. When I turned to leave, I saw something following me. It was that freaking bird. I forgot all about getting my toy back. I knew I needed to get out of there. Okay, so we know the Garten of Ban Ban 1, but the Garten of Ban Ban 2 should be coming out very soon, and we're gonna learn a lot more about this story. Now, are we gonna find this hallway with, with twisted characters? Is uh, the, the, the squid stinger... What's his name? Stinger something. Is he going to come after us in number two? I have a feeling we're going to learn a lot more about these characters in the second Garten of Ban Ban. And she chased me. She almost got me too. All right. He just got out. I told my parents what I saw, but I just got grounded for sneaking in. Yeah. But it was worth it. Why was it worth it? You didn't even get your toy! Even today, I dream that I ended up back in that hallway. Every night, no matter how far I ran, I could never get out of that hallway. Okay. Oh no, going down! Now we're gonna be Jumbo Josh! Again, and when others looked, they didn't find anything. But I know there was something down there. It may not have been what I was looking for, but I definitely found something. Soon after that, I was finally kicked out of Ban Ban's kindergarten. I ended up in public school, grew up perfectly normal, but I always wondered what would happen if I went back. Don't! Come on, come on. There was one dream though, a night where I did find a way out of the hallway and I got stuck on some sort of lift freight elevator thing. Who's there? And something would come from below. Yeah, his name's Jumbo Josh. He's Jumbo. His name's Josh. He's green. He's giant. He's Jumbo. His name's Josh, and he's giant. Did I say enough things to describe Jumbo Josh? Basically, he's evil. He wants to rip our heads off. What was it? 
This will sound crazy, but I swear it was one of the characters. Like I saw earlier. Oh my god. It was Jumbo Josh. Yeah. Like he would pick me up and shake me and scream at me until I woke up. But one night, something changed. I fought back and was able to escape him, but I got hurt. When I woke up that morning, I was so sore. And then I noticed, to this day, I can't remember whether it was a dream or reality. And all I could think was, if it was a dream, I'm so lucky I woke up. What? Well, thank you so much for your time. I think I've got everything I need to get started. So it looks like the investigator is doing everything that this kid is telling him, and he's experiencing the same thing. Like, look, he's actually getting attacked by Jumbo Josh right here. Josh, no! Oh. Well, he got eaten. Check out my other YouTube channel. It's called TFG Vlogs, and I will see all of you in the next video. Thank you.